Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to implement a Cupertino button. You know what a button is, something you can click and you'll, you'll trigger an event. And a Cupertino button is one that is styled like, you know, iOS, essentially. So to do it, add the other child, Cupertino button, and we'll get rid of this. And so there's a few properties, so we want child. So we're going to have a child, and this child we're going to put, I was going to put text here, I'm going to say click me, then I'll say on pressed, so this is when the button is clicked, we are going to say, I'm going to say print, you have clicked me, you have clicked me, let's save this and see what we get, so we get this button here, Okay, that's pretty cool. Look, you know, pretty simple enough. I haven't triggered it yet because I haven't actually clicked it. That's clicked it, that's triggered it. Okay, what are the properties do we have? We have color, so let's change the color of it. If I do colors dot, let's say red. So it's now red now. So it's the background color. And as you can see, that chair, and we can click on it. And there are other properties, like you can change the border radius. So if I change it to zero. Okay, so we need to specify border radius at all. So if I do a zero, did not like a zero. Radius. Okay, so you can do radius dot circle. And this could be, here we go, will it like that? There you go, it's square now. So if I did a radius of, let's say, 0 0.5, as I mean, I think it's slightly curved, let's try 10. It's more curved now. So you, you can experiment with this. So if you did like 2, let's, uh, let's try 4. four. And there's a bit of curvature to it. And let's see if we do something big like 40. It's very curved now. So you can experiment with that. And other properties like, like minimum size, disable color, padding. And I want you as an extra task to experiment with that as well. There's also something called a Cupertino button dot field. And I want you again as an extra task to experiment with that. Where I'm, it basically just creates an iOS style button with a field background and I am going to provide a link where you can check out all of this stuff. It's the official documentation. So that's it really. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.